any stress to the body, like adrenaline or anything like that. The way the body's designed, it cannot, it's not designed to just sit and absorb it. You have to release it, and the only way to release it is physical, physical movement. That's why when people get full of stress, they lash out. And that's the body trying to, you know, it seems illogical to people that are, that are in receipt of a person having a meltdown and losing control of their impulses. But it's actually the logical thing to do for the body and the nervous system. I'm Lucho, I'm part of the OSU team, OS, OSU, call it however you want, the OS team. Um, so yeah, I'm a fighter, I've been fighting since I've been 10 years old, and um, I've had the luck, I would say, to have been um, jumping from different and different and different backgrounds, so I don't come from a specific background. I started with Judo, I moved to Taekwondo, then I started boxing. Then uh, for a long period of time, I went to jiu-jitsu and then I finished like with mixing everything together and putting into Muay Thai, MMA, some other type of conditioning. So I'm a strong believer in um, movement approach to every sport. We do a lot of stuff during the day, but none of that is connecting to the ground. Think about it. We start as babies crawling on the ground. We have a really strong relationship with the ground, how we move, how we how we move our body within the, the floor, how we, we push off of it, balancing, a lot of that stuff. As we grow older, of course, we, don't, we do not need to crawl, and we start walking, and with shoes on, uh, your day-to-day -day life, walking, 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 you lose that sensibility. So a really, really, really strong point is that you can improve with whatever you need to do in, in terms of movement and freeing yourself from being stuck in regular patterns is it's being conscious of the relation that you have with the ground so i was work woken up this morning by a whole load of builders putting together this scaffolding and i was in the process of complaining but then i realized something now I'll be able to get oh yeah, some cool views of the city and time lapses for you guys. Let's see if you can actually see me here. It's probably light coming from behind. So, I first and foremost wanted to say to you guys, I'm gonna to stick to a schedule. Um, I've worked out how I can vlog and when I can vlog and how I can keep the content interesting for you guys. So every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday, I'm gonna upload a vlog. This allows me to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, film at the markets, because a lot of time I'll be working on the stool on the weekends, and I don't wanna just have footage of the same thing. So I'm gonna tie in the weekend as one storyline. Now, a lot of the stuff online has been out of stock. That's because we're pending some new releases. We wanna get some new things out to you guys. And the first drop, uh, we're working in collaboration with Muay Thai Addict. A lot of you guys have been hitting us up for the Muay Thai shorts featured in this film. Starring Kevin the Soul Assassin Ross, Johnny Bang Riley and Andy Sauer. Woo. So these are the Kevin Soul Assassin Ross signature line Wuss shorts in collaboration with Muay Thai Addict. And we're going to release these shorts on a pre-order basis. So... We're gonna drive as many sales as possible. When this vlog is released, the promo for these shorts is gonna begin. 100% of the profits from everything we sell um, goes to a young lady called Desmina who's suffering from stage four neuroblastoma, which is a form of cancer. So these shorts are gonna help raise money to give to Desmina and her family so that they can 
continue to spend money on her treatment if they wish or you know to have a great day out or to enjoy themselves you know because it's a very stressful thing for a young 13 year old girl to be going through that. everybody have a blessed day enjoy strive prosper don't give up try life what's I prayed for brave, I was afraid when my best friend's mother died. I was raised an honest man, but an honest man must learn to lie. Swear to spell by an honest man who honest lived and honest died. Swear to spell by an honest man who honest lived and honest died. Whoa. I'm taking a picture of you taking a picture of my food. Alright, you ready? Good morning. So I'm hiding under here, eating my breakfast, which is basically um, dates and cucumber. Um, I usually have like a date. And then take a bite of the cucumber. Don't worry, I'm gonna to get to the point. I think this information could be valuable to you. Um, the reason I have dates in the morning because dates are super good for your digestion, and when you're sleeping through the night, you're breaking down, you're getting rid of the food. So the dates help to stimulate bowel movement and also break down and digest any of the food that you might have or anything that you might have left over that your body couldn't get through through the night. The reason I have it in combination with the cucumber is because dates, because they stimulate the digestive process, heat up your body. So to regulate my body temperature, I have a bite of a cucumber and that cools it back down and keeps everything balanced. Awesome. Jack, you got any wise words to say to the people? Always wear a do-rag. Even in, even in the summertime? Always wear the do-rag. Don't leave your house without the do-rag. Oh. Oh. It's fucking delicious.